Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn Minecraft into the ultimate exploration game. And what I mean by this is most of the mods that I'll include in this video make you, well, want to go explore your world and just make it a lot more interesting to do so. And I'm also going to be keeping this pretty vanilla friendly, so most of the mods in here have features that would fit in very well into the vanilla game. And while some of these mods don't 100% stick to this, they're not completely outrageous. I absolutely think you guys will have a very good time with this mod setup, and anyway, Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, for the first section, we're going to be focusing on world gen mods. So these are the kind of mods that generate new biomes or structures in your world. And this is obviously going to give you a huge amount of variety when it comes to places that you can discover. And the first mod I've installed is Biomes of Plenty. Now for this, you can go with pretty much any world generation mod you prefer. So if you want all oh, the biomes you'll go, you can go with that one. But I just still really think Biomes of Plenty is the best at what it does. So that's the mod I'm building off of. In addition to Biomes of Plenty, I've also installed called Atmospheric, and this mod just adds two new biomes to the game, although each biome has like four variants, so it actually has a pretty good amount of new biomes. And this will work perfectly fine with other mods, so you will be able to come across both Biomes of Plenty and Atmospheric biomes, and the two of these mods combined are going to give you a massive amount of new biomes to discover. Next, I've included Valhelsia structures, which adds a bunch of randomly generated structures to your world, and these come in a pretty wide variety. You can come across abandoned castles or secret caves, and plus it adds quite a few new blocks to the game. And the last mod I've installed for this section is Repurposed Structures, and this mod adds a huge amount of variety to the already existing structures in the game. So you'll come across many new types of villages, desert temples, and snowy biomes that are made out of snowy blocks, and really just about everything else. If you can think of a structure in vanilla Minecraft, it probably has a variant with this mod. Now for this next section, we're going to be focusing on mods that make exploring caves far more interesting. And because at this time at 1.18 hasn't released yet, caves are still pretty boring, so this is especially important. But hey, if you watch this when 1.18 is out, you can still install these mods and it'll just be absolutely fantastic in the caves. And anyway, the first cave mod we'll be installing is Young's Better Caves. This is, in my opinion, easily the best cave generation you can get in this version of Minecraft. And what I mean by this is just simply the shape of the cave's generation. This gives you literally like infinitely more variety than current vanilla Minecraft and will continually surprise you. In addition to this, we'll be installing Young's better strongholds and Young's better mine shafts. In case you can't tell, Young makes some pretty good mods. And both of these mods do exactly what you would expect them to. Young's better mine shafts expands on mine shafts in pretty much every way possible, adding both giant and far more detailed versions. And better strongholds just completely revamp strongholds, adding far more rooms to explore, and really just makes it actually live up to its name. After that, I've installed the Cork mod, and I am including this in the cave section, but Cork is quite possibly the biggest mod in this entire list. It adds so many amazing features to the game that, unless it's just not available for your version, I can't imagine not playing with this mod installed. And for caves specifically, it adds things like stalagmites and stalactites, several different cave biomes, and even things to come across such as bigger dungeons. And if you want caves similar to the 1.18 update, you can always go with a mod like Caves and Cliffs Backport. Again, this just comes down to preference. Nearing the end of the cave section, I've installed artifacts, which adds several dozen new unique items to the game, which can only be found through exploration. Most of these are going to be found underground in chests, and obviously this is going to make you spend even more time underground as you try and hunt these things down. And finally, the last mod we'll be installing for the cave section is Dynamic Surroundings. And this is another mod that doesn't just affect caves, but it certainly makes a huge difference in them. For example, reverb will now be present in caves, which I think it should be in vanilla Minecraft. Water makes more sound than just a little bit of bubbling, which again, I think should be in vanilla Minecraft. And many other features that boost both the game's audio and visuals. And this mod is very customizable, so you can change just about any feature you don't like. And for this particular video, I decided to disable the ambient audio simply because with all the mods we're going to be installing, we really don't need additional biome sounds. This one's totally up to you though. Now the next section is a real short one, and this is just mods that add new generation to kind of their own areas, and the first of which is Upgrade Aquatic. And this mod adds several new creatures to the water in your worlds, along with quite a few new blocks. And I'll give you a warning now, one of the creatures from this mod is absolutely terrifying. And the other mod we'll be installing is Better End. And this mod completely changes the end to the point that it's pretty much unrecognizable. And this is one of the mods I'm including that isn't that vanilla friendly, so if you don't want to install it because it changes so much, you certainly don't have to. Next, we'll be moving on to the mob section, and as you would probably guess, we're going to be adding a lot of creatures right here. And the first mod we'll be installing for this section is Alex's 
Nexus mobs. This mod is the Mo Creatures of Modern Minecraft. It adds dozens of new mobs to the game, and all of them have something unique about them. Whether that's something they drop or an ability they have, there's something for all of these mobs that makes them unique. After that, I've included Mousy's mobs. And this mod adds easily some of the coolest creatures out of any mod available, and most of them are going to provide you with some pretty difficult fights. And the designs of these creatures do stray a little bit from vanilla Minecraft, but honestly, they just look so good and are so much fun to fight against that I'm easily willing to overlook that. And next, we have the mod that potentially adds the most difficult creatures to the game on this entire list, and this is Mutant Beasts. Formerly known as Mutant Creatures, this mod was so ahead of its time back in the day. The models, animations, attacks, and pretty much everything else are just absolutely incredible. Keep in mind though, in order for the Mutant Beasts to spawn inside of your world, you're gonna have to enable that for the config of this mod. And the last mod I've included for this section is Spiders 2.0. This is the smallest of the four mods, but it's still a really great one to have because it makes spiders actually difficult. With this mod installed, spiders will now behave as terrifying as you would expect them to. They can crawl up walls, ceilings, and just about anywhere in order to reach you. Plus, they're a little bit faster. Now, for this next section, I've added some mods that will be quite helpful as you're out and about exploring. And the first one we've got is Comforts. And this mod adds two things to the game, sleeping bags and hammocks. Sleeping bags essentially just act as a portable bed that you can use very quickly, and hammocks, once set up, have the opposite effect of beds, allowing you to sleep through the day. Next, I've included grapple hooks, and once you make these, you'll quickly realize how nice it is to travel with these things. You'll have to progressively upgrade them, and once you reach, essentially, the best grapple hook you can get, you are going to fly around your world. You do have to be careful, though, because you can certainly hurt yourself. Small Ships is up next, and this mod adds some pretty big boats to the game. There's a pretty large number of them to select from, and each of them come in all the different wood variants, and some of them even have built-in storages for you to use. And the last mod I've included for this section is Zero's World Map. This mod is going to be great for when you're exploring your world because it'll map out everywhere you've been. And it looks truly amazing when you open up the world map, especially seeing all these brand new biomes. And if you choose, you can also install Zero's mini map, which will give you a bunch of other helpful features such as being able to set waypoints. And now for the final category, we have mods that simply just didn't really fit into the other sections. And the first of these mods is Better Weather. This mod adds several new weather events that can happen, which include blizzards and acid rain, and it also adds seasons to the game. And the seasons are especially nice because it'll constantly change how your world looks. Next, I've included Bountiful, which essentially adds many quests for you to complete inside of villages. All you have to do is approach the bounty board and select one of the bounties you wish to try to complete. These have varying levels of difficulty and rewards, and can be a pretty fun way to get some new items. For our next mod, and one of the last we'll be installing, is Twilight Forest. This mod is really one of the original new dimension mods available for Minecraft, and it's managed to stick around all these years because it's such a good mod. There's tons of content available inside of it, ranging from boss fights, unique items, and interesting biomes to explore. This is another mod on this list that isn't particularly vanilla friendly, but it really is just so much fun to play that I think it's worth it. And finally, the last thing we're going to be installing is Fresh Animations. This resource pack has quickly grown to be one of my favorite resource packs and honestly just things available for Minecraft. It adds amazing animations for many of the creatures in the game and just makes them so much fun to interact with. And I actually decided to include Fresh Animations after I recorded all the gameplay, but regardless of that, I would absolutely install it if I were you because it truly just looks that good. Alright, now that all the mods are installed, I've got some gameplay for you guys. And this time, I actually decided to run this mod pack on a server with a couple of friends. We had tons of fun playing with this, and I can certainly say I believe you will too. So let's go ahead and check it out.
Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, and all of the mods can be found in the description below, so if you'd like to give it a try, you can install all of them from there. And I definitely do think you should give it a try, because it truly is a lot of fun to play with. And hey, if you're watching this video and 1.18 is released, and most of these mods are updated to 1.18, then this is only gonna be better. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.